Hi viewers, welcome to Akshaya Vlogs and Crafts. Today we are going to see Soma Nadiswarar Somangalam which is a Chengal Pattu. Somangalam lies at about 35 km southwest of Chennai city. One can take the route from Tambaram via Kishkinta to reach Somangalam. The better alternative is to take the road from Pallavaram going to Kundratur. After reaching Kundratur junction, one has to take left towards south to reach Somangalam. Somangalam is about 10 km from Kundratur. Also, plenty of buses fly from Porur directly to Somangalam. Somangalam is an ancient, beautiful village having a temple for Lord Shiva. The main deity here is Sri Somanadiswarar and goddess is Sri Kamachi Aman. This temple is one of the Navagraha temples of Chennai or Tondai Mandalam, devoted to Sri Chandra Bhagavan, moon god. According to legend, once Sri Chandra Bhagavan, also called Soman, is said to have got cursed by Dakshan. As a result, he lost his divine charm and forgot all 16 forms of arts he acquired. To come out of this, he is said to have created a pond here called Soma Tirtham and worshipped Lord Shiva here. After this, he got back his beauty and wisdom. As Sri Shoman, Sri Chandra Bhagavan worshipped the Lord here, Lord Shiva here is called Somanadi Swarar and the place came to be known as Somangalam. This temple is a Parihara Stalam for those having any dosham related to Chandra Bhagavan. Sri Chandra Bhagavan has a separate shrine in the temple facing west. This temple is said to have been built by Kulotunga Chola in 1073 AD during his third year of region. According to inscriptions found here, this place was referred to as Jayakonda Sola Mandalatu Sengatu Kotatu Mahanur Natu So Mangalamana Raja Sihamani Sadur Vedi Mangalam. Those days the place is gifted tax free to Vedic Brahmins by ancient kings were called Chadurveti Mangalams. The inscriptions found in the temple also reveal the information about the local lake which got damaged and about the repair works done to it. Also there is information about the cows donated to the temple to fetch revenue to light the lamps in the temples every evening. There lived a king called Soma Kantan in this part of the country who wished to build 108 Shiva temples throughout his country. While he was in the middle of construction work for this temple, he had his enemies marching towards his territory of for war. The king was shocked to hear this because he was never prepared for a war at that time and had engaged all his soldiers in the temple construction work. With much grief, he prayed to Lord Shiva here to save him. Lord Shiva was pleased with his devotion in constructing the temple, directed Sri Nandigeswarar to fight against the king's enemies. Nandi turned towards east and blew away the entire troops of the enemy just with his forceful breath. Lord Shiva made Nandi to face east permanently to make sure that there were no further attacks to the king's country by enemies. Here, one can see Nandi unusually facing east instead of facing the Lord in the sanctum. This is one of the very unique features of this temple. Ambal, Sri Kamachi Aman has a separate shrine in the temple facing south. Lord Nararaja here is present as Chadurra Tandava Murti which is again very unique and rarely seen anywhere. The sanctum is built in Gajabrishta shape or Tungal Madam, Tungane Madam type which is popular in Chola architecture. Such structures would look like the back of a sleeping elephant. Sri Vinayagar, Sri Dakshinamurti, Sri Mahavishnu, Sri Brahma, Sri Durkei and Sri Chandigeswarar are seen on the outer walls of the sanctum. The other deities like Sri Vali Deva Sena, Sameda, Sri Subramanir and Sri Bhairavar have separate shrines on the outer prakaram. The Stala Viksham for this temple is Sarakkondrai Maram which is found on the northern side of the sanctum. There is a small shrine having small Siva Linga below this tree and is called Viksha Linga. An image of a tree is carved on the stone above this Lingam. 
a few dilated idols are seen near the stala vriksham in the southern side of the outer prakaram sapta madas are seen in a row along the walls in which sri jeshta devi is also present Sri Jeshta Devi is said to be the elder sister of Sri Mahalakshmi who evolved earlier to Sri Mahalakshmi when the mighty ocean was churned. The Tirtham for this temple is said to be Sandeeswara Tirtham which is believed to be created by Sri Chandigeshwara. Another Tirtham is Soma Tirtham which is created by moon god is present a little away from the temple. The temple is strictly closed between 12 pm and 4 pm. This beautiful temple surely has lots within itself for temple lovers. Let's all have darshan and blessings of this Lord Chandran and Somanadiswarar temple. Thank you viewers. Bye bye viewers.